Hey guys, it's Dee. I hope you guys are doing well. I have a Goodwill bins haul today. This is my first time going to a Goodwill outlet is what they call it. And um, how it's set up is, is there's I think maybe 10 or 12 rows of just things that have come from other Goodwills that didn't sell and they sell it by weight. So um, I think clothing is like 219, 219 a pound and everything else is 119 a pound. And so the way it works is that I think every 15 minutes or so they change out the bins. And they say they don't recycle the same things, but I did see um, stuff from another bin when they recycle and supposedly brought out new things. But I went on the second day they opened, so I think I'm sure they're still trying to figure things out. But overall, it was a really fun experience. You could tell there were a lot of people who knew exactly what were going what was going on. I was sort of trying to get the feel for it by looking at other people. Um, people had gloves on. Um, you know, you can tell they're resellers because, you know, they go in and look for particular things and where else I was like picking through every single thing because I didn't, you know, I wasn't sure where to start. Anyway, um, I found some really cool things. Um, not a lot, of, well, there was, there are some vintage things, um, but there are definitely some things to resell. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have a huge um, Disney store bag here that I brought so that I could put all my things in. And it was really helpful because there's not a lot of place in between the carts, um, in between like the huge, rows of they call them boats um to have a cart and you're kind of blocking people so having a big bag really helped because then i can just throw it and when i got heavy i was just dragging it on the floor okay so the first thing we have here is this beauty and the bees paper doll and so we have her here on the inside and then when you open it up so we have um the beast and and then you know the prince here and then we have the clothing here so we have this too and then all of these clothing and then there's also the story the beauty of the beast story there's the story there and then there's also black and white one so I'm guessing you can color your own and um, add it to the paper doll. So I'm most likely going to, I'm not sure what the resale value is. I haven't looked up anything yet. So if it sells for something, then I will most likely sell it. If not, then I will hang on to it. I am a Disney fan. Okay. And then um, I work with kids and they love to do puzzles, especially ones that are like 60 and under because I do work with younger children. So I counted them, all of them are there. So I was happy to find that one. And then I have this cat brooch here. Um, I could tell that there was a person there that donated all of their cat things. And there were like ornaments and figurines and stuff like that. So I picked up a couple of things. So the brooch is one of them. And then I'm sure as I'm showing you, I'll find some other things as well. Oh, so this is one of them. This is, it says the trim shop. And they are, I want to say these are banners. And I have found these before in... Um, a Mickey design and something else. So here's this one. I think there were two of them. So I'll most likely hang on to one and sell the other one. There was this cute cat punch. Just put a piece of paper in there and it'll punch it out for you. There was this adorable wooden painted cat figurine. I actually texted my brother while I was there and um, he ended up showing up because he lived close by and he actually found this for me. So that was very cute. I found a box of vintage um, Crayola crayons. Looks like it's still new, hasn't been opened. So that was a nice find. There was this bag here and I picked this up to resell because you know, I have enough purses, but what I thought was unique about this is that, so there's this opening on the back, which just has like a pouch here, but this one 
has like an accordion style um, credit card holder. So I thought that that would be really helpful. You could just open it up and see everything that you need instead of trying to dig and find things um, when you need it. I found this cute little Santa. So there he is, that's his face. He has a polka dot um, outfit on and boots. And I tried to look for a marking and I could not find one, but there is his face. At first, he kind of reminded me of the Anna Lee style, but he's not because I've seen those Santas. Um, so if you guys have any idea, please let me know. Um, let's see, I found this chair. This is um, American Girl 2016. Where is it? Yeah, 2016, and it, it's from the Rainforest set. Um, it comes with a table, but I didn't see a table. Um, so I'm just gonna sell the chair as is. Oh, here's the other um, garland, paper garland. Actually, since I'm keeping one, I think I might go ahead and open it so I can actually show you guys. You guys know I love old vintage paper, so this was right up my alley. So there is the paper garland. How fun is that? Oops. So, there is that. Let's see. Oh, I found this old book. Um, Things We Like, and it has been written in some, and I mean, it's not in the worst condition, but you know, if the book falls, if it falls apart because it's already falling apart, I will just just take the pages out and save them and um, craft with them. So there's that. I found this really cool mug. Um, there is a name here. So it says Linzo Clayworks Handmade in Oregon o Oven Microwave and Dish Washer Safe Lead Free. So there is the tag and then there are some trees. So that was a fun find. I'll most likely sell that because my mug cabinet is full, so I cannot hold on to any other thing. Um, here is a old tin, and it says a wax polish. It it is a little hefty, so I want to say that there is some in there, but I try really hard to open it, and I cannot get it open. So. Um, I may just leave it as is and then use it to display. There was, uh, when my brother came, he found an Astros baseball. And this is, they play at the Minimate Park now, or Minimate Stadium, but this is the Astrodome. That's where they used to play, and um, Jeff Backwell is on it. So um, I'll most likely keep that. We are Astros fans. Or, you know, I say that, but then if I look it up and it goes for something, then <laughs> I will most likely sell it. I found this um, Hallmark, um, let's see, memo pad set with a pen, and it's Mickey and Minnie, and it's still new. So I thought that this might make a good gift. So I will most likely hang on to that until come Christmas time, and then someone might get it. I don't see a year, so it you know, most likely isn't that old. And then we have this um, Harry Potter owl, like credit card holder. So it looks like that. And then this is what the back looks like. So I picked that up to resell. It was in fairly good condition. So I think that would sell. I got this pretty headband. Um, I want to say this is embroidery. Yeah, it's embroidery and um, pretty good condition, um, considering that it came for the bins. And then, let me see, I found these two brass cats. And I think that this is what is gonna help me make my money back. There are similar soles on eBay from anywhere between $25 to $50, but there's not a pair of them listed right now. So I need to jump on that and list these. Um, and then I think it would make my money back. I would love to hold on to this, but I mean, if I could sell it, um, you know, that's obviously much better. There was this um, very pretty, 
I think it's Lakaton um, bag and it still had the tag on it. I don't think it's been used. There is some wear because, you know, it's been sitting at the bins, but I thought that it was a very nice print. Couldn't pass it up. There was this bag here. How pretty is that? Um, I was very happy to find that. Um, I'll most likely try to sell it. And the inside is just lined and doesn't seem to have any marks in it. So I think that that could sell well. And it just has a snap. And then we have just a Trader Joe's bag. I like these canvas style bags, so that is why I picked this up. And I do go to Trader Joe's, so um, that would be nice to bring with me. There was these um, googly eyes, new in the package, so I got those. And then I did pick up a couple of clothing. Um, this is a Matilda Jane size 4 dress. And I heard that this brand sells well, so that's why I went ahead and picked it up. Um, I'll, it's, it doesn't have any stains or anything, but I'll probably just throw it in the wash. Um, there's also a Matilda Jane size 18 to 24 months leggings with some frills on the bottom. That was very cute. Some wooden push pins. That's always helpful. There is a Under Armour jacket, so here is the Under, oh, not showing it correctly, here we go, Under Armour logo, it's a size large, it is my husband's size, I will throw it in the wash, see if he wants it, um, if not, I will try to sell that. There is this game by Discovery Toys, it's called Tactico. And I've never played it, but um, I read the directions and it sounded fun, so I think maybe I could try it with the kids. That spine for that old book I found came out, so. Um, I think this was from um, that same bin that I found all the cat things. And it says, P is a tiny dynamo, wind it up and set it free on the table. So it's one of these like wind up guys and it's by that brand Kickerland. I think that's how you say it. Um, I have a couple of wind-ups of them and they work pretty well. I dropped something. Um, let's see. Here is another wooden cat that probably came from that cat lady. And then the last thing I have is this Disney puzzle. And it's Winnie the Pooh and it's very like this watercolor artistic kind of look. This is what it looks like. Um, it is in a Ziploc bag, so I'm guessing they um, hopefully kept all of the pieces, but I will count it. And um, that is it. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys like down below. And um, let me know if you guys have a Goodwill bins in your area, if you guys um, go to them and find fun things. So I hope to go again soon. Um, and I will be sure to film it if I do go. So thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below and let me know, um, you know, what you liked. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.